It's going to be, this, kind of this is going to be the widest bridge I've ever seen in my life. High income through oh, retirement. Come on. Uh, if we're going to continue that mortgage through retirement. And the reason is because you'll likely still itemize on your tax return. And as a result, you'll get to deduct the interest you're paying. And let's say it is 3%. And you happen to be in, because I like easy math, the 33% tax bracket average tax uh, rate. Look, then they you're have to work effectively paying 2%. And that's as close to free money as we're going to Those see in our lifetime uh, these days. And if it means a better <laughs> quality of life for a they new don't catch uh, cold to you, 2% a year on that amount of money, then uh, it's worth considering. They Everybody's have, uh, circumstances are different. And, you know, we something. always need to see the bigger picture, see where the most effective um, strategy is, where the assets can be uh, utilized best. Uh, so that you end up with the least possible cost, if any, in Ryan's example, no cost if you just have the cash in the bank, but at least uh, have somebody look at it for you from the 10,000 foot level. Right, and, and not to get overly complicated with numbers, but just to show some of the power of the tax benefit of, of the mortgage interest, say you're in, using Rich's example, that 33% tax bracket, and you take out a 5% mortgage. And it rates you, you can do better than that right now, but say it's even 5%. Well, on a, that loan will actually cost you, if you're in that 33% tax bracket, 3.35% after taxes. Now, if you utilize that money in your earning, your investment,